two more games left for the Lady Bucks. They can improve their seed in the Atlantic Sun Conference Tournament with two wins, but they have to do it against the two best teams in the league. Ashley Dennis early for the Stetson Hatters. First start of the year and knocks down a big three there. Big part of Stetson's first half lead. Aisha Robinson next possession would answer with a three of her own, providing some spark off the bench, although another three. Sasha Sims top of the key just like that erases the one Robinson shot to answer. 16-point lead. Stetson had it up to 16 two times in the first half, but the Lady Bucks trying to chip away at it as time winds down. Tarita Gordon with a little floater off the glass, much more of Gordon later. And then off an offensive rebound by Maria Bond, the kick out, and Brianna Bogard for three, and then Bond on the tail end of a fast break finishes the assist to Gordon, the foul and one. Bond heading to the free throw line for a three-point play. Lady Bucks able to whittle the lead down, and then in the second half come up with a steal. Destiny Mitchell ahead to Gordon for the left-handed finish. And then Tarita Gordon wants to take on the lane. Little floater off the A-Sun logo. Big night for the senior. Had 20 last time against the Hatters. We'll see if she can equal that again. An assist there, though, for Gordon. One of eight on the night to Mitchell, who would finish with a double-double. And then Natalie Pickwell, big three in front of the bench, gives the Lady Bucks a lead for the first time since under 18 minutes to go in the first half. And then Pickwell with a nice finish there. Didn't score in the first half. Came out with 16 in the second half. Gwen Washington rolls one in. She had four points. She is now eight away from career number 1,000. Natalie Pickwell knocking down another big three, top of the key. And then how about just one more? Yes, sir. Pickwell extends the Lady Bucks lead out to 11. Double figure lead for ETSU. And now they got to put the clamps down on defense. Watch this play. A ball stolen away by the Hatters as they go into the front court. How about Tasha Austin getting all the way back, the post player with a backcourt defense? And then on the end of the same play, Austin will then finish in the front court for two. She finished with six and five blocks. More on that later. But another steal for Stetson. They go into the front court. Victoria McGowan, who was actually out for part of this game with an eye injury. You see the Band-Aid there. Came back in, continued to score, and then goes to the free throw line to give the Hatters the lead. So they're up 70-69. to Need a miracle? Tarita Gordon. Buries the jumper left side. It's a two. Her foot was on the line. But no question about this one. A couple of steps behind the line. Knocks it down off the glass. That'll extend the Lady Buck lead back out to four. So Gordon does pour in another 20 points. She's averaged 20 against the Hatters this year. McGowan spinning, off-balance shot, hits it with under 20 seconds to go in the game. Stetson within two. They can still win it on the, actually they can tie it on the free throw line in the double bonus. Lady Bucks D makes them shoot it, and McGowan cannot hit the three for the win. Lady Bucks hang on for a huge win inside the dome. By only a bucket, but a win is a win. 74 to 72, the final score. Three Lady Buccaneers in double figures, and then talked about Tasha Austin, six points, but also five rebounds and five blocks for the junior. And that's a very special milestone. Austin, with her five, now has 101 for her career. She's only the 25th Atlantic Sun player to accomplish 100 career blocks. From ETSU MSHA Center, John Stevens. <laughs>